It would take about as long as his career to tell you everything about Roland Johnson and why he's being inducted into the Nebraska Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Roland Johnson was born and grew up on a small ranch north of O'Neill, Nebraska. Things weren't plush. No electricity, no indoor plumbing, and no running water. Raleigh attended a one-room schoolhouse and for four years was the only student in his class. As a junior high student, Raleigh was hired to be an announcer on KBRX AM in O'Neill in 1961. In less than 10 years, he would go from making a dollar an hour on air to owning his first station, WBWBFM, in Bloomington, Indiana. After graduating from O'Neill High School, Raleigh went to the University of Missouri to get his degree in journalism, his MBA in marketing and management, and then a PhD from Ohio University in mass communications. Raleigh was also a tenured professor at Indiana University of Bloomington. Roland then leaves academics to pursue radio ownership. WBWB-FM Sides on the Air is an AOR and is an instant success. Raleigh goes on to form a second company, Duchess Wall Communications Company of Chicago. In 1994, Raleigh retires, briefly, to drive his wife crazy and play golf, and then builds a new company, Three Eagles Communications, now with 60 full-service radio stations in Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, Minnesota, and Colorado, as well as FarmNet, a nationally syndicated agricultural news service. Uh, my name is Phil Lombardo. I'm past joint board chairman of the National Association of Broadcasters, and I'm also the owner of KLKN-TV, the ABC affiliate in Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, I've known Raleigh as a board member for the past six years. I found him to be thoughtful and very effective and a good uh, representative of our industry. He's a very interesting uh, gentleman. Um, I'm sure all of you who know him uh, share uh, my respect uh, as, you, as you would have re your respect for him. Um, and the last thing I'd like to say is that uh, Raleigh's a tenant of mine. Um, I lease him space on one of my towers in Lincoln, and I certainly wish he would pay his rent on time. Raleigh, congratulations. I'm Steve Newberry with Commonwealth Broadcasting. I'm a Kentucky broadcaster, and when I heard that Raleigh Johnson was being inducted into the Hall of Fame, it came as no great surprise. Raleigh is one of America's outstanding broadcasters, and all of us in the broadcasting business know his now common theme of we worry about Main Street, not Wall Street, and he really walks a walk and talks a talk. But there's a lot more to Raleigh than just what he's doing with his company now. I'm sure most of you are aware that he has a very distinguished background in education, having served as the head of the telecommunications and radio and television department at Indiana University. I had the pleasure to speak to some students there back earlier this year, and his name was Gold. And as soon as I mentioned that I knew Raleigh Johnson, they all knew him as Dr. Roland Johnson. And I said, yep, that's the same guy. He's a great broadcaster. He's a great individual. He and his wife, Paula, do a fabulous job with their company and enjoy the life that they've set out for themselves. And all I can say is on behalf of a lot of broadcasters in the United States, Raleigh, congratulations. It's well deserved and we're very proud of your accomplishments on behalf of the broadcasters in Nebraska and across the United States of America. I'm John Barger from San Antonio and I have the privilege of serving with Raleigh on the National Association of Broadcasters Board of Directors. And I just want to congratulate you, Raleigh, on a well-deserved award from the broadcasters of Nebraska. My very best to you and Paula. The, through my association with Raleigh on the National Association of Broadcasters Radio Board that uh, we became very good friends and I just want to say the Nebraska broadcasters have made a great choice in naming Raleigh to their Hall of Fame. He's going to be a terrific addition. He's a great broadcaster. He's got not only terrific ideas about uh, broadcasting and knowledgeable about the history of it, but he's uh, got a really great foresight into the future of broadcasting as well. And that's the kind of, of uh, forward-thinking people that uh, we want in this business. So congratulations, Raleigh. Well-deserved honor. Hi, I'm Bobby Caldwell, owner and CEO of East Arkansas Broadcasters in Wynn, Arkansas. I'd like to congratulate Raleigh and salute his family for his selection to the N N Nebraska uh, Radio Hall of Fame. And uh, from all the broadcasters in Tennessee and Arkansas, our best to you, Raleigh. Raleigh, I want to congratulate you on your induction into the Nebraska Broadcast Hall of Fame. 
Uh, this is a remarkable honor for a great broadcaster, a man who cares about the communities that he operates, a man who loves this business. Uh, my best wishes to you and your family. Hi, I'm David Rare, President and CEO of the National Association of Broadcasters. Congratulations, Raleigh, on receiving this prestigious award. You frankly deserve it. You're a great American, a great businessman, a great broadcaster, and I'm honored to work for you. So God bless you and your family, and enjoy the night. Hi, this is John David from the radio department at the NAB in Washington, and I want to congratulate my very close friend, Rolly Johnson, on his induction into the Nebraska Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Very well deserved. Rolly considers me one of his best friends. Frankly, I don't care for him that much, but I do like Paula. Wherever I go, I do a lot of speaking around the country, and whenever I mention his name, east, north, south, or west, the response is always the same. Who the hell is Rolly Johnson? <clears throat> Hi, everyone. I used to be Eddie Fritz. Now, we all know of Raleigh's many successes in broadcasting, so I'll not attempt to recount those many accomplishments in his bio, but suffice it to say, all of us in broadcasting are so proud to be associated with one of the nicest gentlemen in this great industry we know and love as broadcasting. Indeed, there's no one more deserving than our friend Raleigh Johnson. So please add my name to the many in wishing Raleigh the very best on this special occasion. Johnson's philosophy is well known throughout the radio community, as well as his dedication to personal community service. He presently is an elected representative on the National Association of Broadcasters, representing Nebraska and Colorado, and has had numerous Capitol Hill visits during the state leadership conferences. He's been active in the Sertoma Club of Monument, Colorado, one of the largest clubs in the nation, and was recently elected to the Ohio University Mass Communications Hall of Fame. Roland and his wife of 39 years, Paula, live on a small ranch near Larkspur, Colorado. His son, Andy, and daughter-in-law, Laura, as well as his daughter, Kim, son-in-law, Bill, and their beautiful granddaughter, Reagan, visit frequently to the Three Eagles Ranch. Raleigh's ranch, unlike the one of his youth, has electricity, running water, and indoor plumbing. Raleigh Johnson can now add to his long list of accomplishments being inducted to the Nebraska Broadcasters Hall of Fame. <laughs>